the Bank of England has released some <laughs> analytical papers about Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. And uh, I didn't read the whole papers, just kind of got the gist of it based on some news articles. Uh, basically, they really understand the underlying technology. I think they've done a better job than the anyone in the American government, or the Fed for that matter, uh, on understanding what actually makes the blockchain work and how the decentralized ledger works. And the Bank of England seems to be pretty uh, supportive of this, of, of the blockchain as a potentially revolutionary finance, financial construct. But there's, there's other parts where they're skeptical as well, like apparently they realize that they can't really control, uh, you know, the, the, the financial inflation and, and things like that through the blockchain. So they they took a very rational, like practical approach to it, and they released a video on YouTube uh, t talking about it, a scripted video, mind you, but uh, an infor informational video nonetheless. And I thought it was surprising. I thought it was surprising that the Bank of England, you know, number one, understands it pretty well, and number two, isn't totally hostile towards it. Because uh, the Bank of England, it's basically the equivalent of the Fed in the United States, right? They they control the, the yeah, money they supply. Control, yeah, the Bank of England controls the monetary policy of England, uh, just like the Fed does in the United States. And um, it's because they're not they're not part of the uh, the monetary part of the European Union. If they were, it would be they would be controlled by the European Central Bank. Mm. Okay. So, and the European it, Central Bank has has been hostile towards Bitcoin before, right? Yeah, the um, some like some European Union authority. It's called the European Banking Authority is what it was, what it was called. Mm -hmm. They they released a report saying that um, if you're considering accepting Bitcoin, don't do it. And if you're accepting Bitcoin right now, stop it. <laughs> because the, because we haven't passed any laws on Bitcoin yet. So But the Bank of England likes it. they they understand it. They understand that it's that it could be world changing, could be a, a huge shift in the finance industry. And Wow. Did you read the yeah, whole, did you read the report? I, I haven't read the report. I read the the uh, Coindesk article. I usually read reports like that, but I just didn't have the time to read this one. But what I got from the Coindesk article is um, they pretty much said the same thing as um, as the OCED report did back in the summer. Mm. They're like, oh yeah, it's this great technology. It's really interesting. You know, revolutionizes uh, payments, but ultimately it can't be a real currency um, because. It's unsafe. There's no regulation. The value is too volatile, uh, et cetera, et cetera. But but you know we could we could separate Bitcoin from the blockchain and then use the blockchain for um, our fiat currency. Yeah. Uh, that that's that's what I got from from reading the CoinDesk article. But then again, um, you know there's all kinds of um, biases and you know, straw man arguments that could have been in that article. So, you know, I can't, I can't really mm -hmm. say anything either way about it until I read the actual report from the bank itself. Yeah. They, they, they talk about like hypothetical situations in the paper. I'm looking at the Coindesk article right now, like in a scenario in which the UK economy becomes in the bank of England's words, Bitcoinized, <laughs> The central bank's chief monetary authorities would become increasingly unable to influence prices and economic activity as a whole. Yeah, good, good assessment. <laughs> good, good, good friggin' assessment. Um, like <laughs> they get it. They basically get it. They understand what's going on. They 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 look at this and they're like, "This is huge. This could basically render us obsolete. This could." This could render the the government's um, financial initiatives, you know, ineffective. Uh, can't influence prices. Can't influence the economic pro activity anymore. Which has been, you know, has been a like a, the domain of governments since the beginning of governments, basically. Uh, 
Central yeah. banking, at least. Yeah. Now, will will this kind of uh, sentiment spread to like people in the, in the United States? Like there, there must be people in the United States government who are, who have read this report and they're like, wow, England makes some, some good points. I wonder if that could happen, uh, in, in America as well. Cause America, Jesus, they, I mean, they influence the economic activity, um, in practically everything to a, to a huge extent. It's, it's really, it's really kind of scary. The more I've learned about this whole thing in, in the past, like five years since the since the banking crisis happened um but yeah like do do you think that this kind of this kind of like truthful assessment of what bitcoin actually is could that sentiment spread to to other governments well you know the federal reserve has already had two hearings about bitcoin and they were you know surprisingly um positive if you could say that like they they didn't say it needed to be banned or anything they're like oh you know it's it's a really interesting technology can do a lot of good things it's just probably never ever ever going to become a currency because we can't control it mm-hmm. so um i mean yeah the the bank the bank of england's uh, paper um like i said i haven't i haven't read i haven't actually read it so i you know i can't really talk about whether or not it was you know overall positive or negative but what it sounds like is that um, they're just saying the same things other central banks have already said um, you, the ones who haven't been like let's ban it you know yeah. right now but yeah. um because like oh yeah it's an interesting technology it could be dangerous because we can't control it but it probably will never become a currency that's what I took that's what I take from reading the article and hearing what you had to say about it. That's pretty much what the Federal Reserve has already said about it. Yeah. I think I don't think we have to worry so much about the central banks as we do like uh legislatures and uh you know like Congress and Parliament and um and the IRS and you know whatever the other countries equivalents of the IRS are cuz those are the ones that like seriously stand to lose something. Uh, because of Bitcoin, it you know could cut off their funding. So those are the ones who are going to be really aggressively against it. You know, not maybe not so much the central banks. Like they probably will be, uh, like if it ever you know takes full hold of the economy, if Bitcoin does, and central banks become irrelevant, mm-hmm. you know, then they might start getting a little hostile towards it. But right now, I don't think central banks really we have to worry about them. Because they, they still have their monopolies over currency, so they don't really feel threatened about Bitcoin. Yeah, you know it's just interesting, like how far we've come. We, we, you know, so many changes are happening so quickly in this space, you know, week to week, that we kind of forget, like, with the point that we were at just a year ago, when, uh, even a year ago, people were wondering if the United States was still going to ban Bitcoin. None of the hearings had happened yet in the Senate, uh, for FinCEN or anything like that. And now we have the Fed basically saying that it, it could become money in the future. Bank of England saying it could become money in the future. Uh, it's, it, it's, an, it's an actual innovation in technology, combines technology with, with currency and, and finance and computer science and all that. And pe- like, we're actually getting a- acknowledgments now from like huge, gigantic institutions who are looking at this and saying, wow, maybe there is something to this thing that you know this super dedicated community has been talking about for years already and you know it they're not just a bunch of crazy people there's something actually legit and financially innovative going on here so that's huge a huge um uh development in terms of awareness in terms in government you know it's definitely a sign that bitcoin is kind of expanding beyond you know the depths of the internet that dark corner that nobody likes to talk about Mm -hmm. like you know everyday people are starting to hear about bitcoin uh like like um well for example the yesterday i was watching uh i was watching fox business and uh they're i don't even know what they're talking about because they i wasn't really paying attention to it but they're talking about like the state of the economy or something or and and um yeah and this one, this one guy who's part of like the roundtable discussion, he was like, 
um, he was like, well, yeah, it's, it's getting a lot harder for, it would be a lot harder for a government to do that in a Bitcoin economy. And, and I was just like, wait, what did they, did somebody on Fox news really just say that? Wow. <laughs> and it's, so yeah, it's, it's definitely leaving like this little niche community where, where it started and it's expanding into, um, into, you know, moving on to bigger and better things and people are taking notice of it. So, you know, it's pretty exciting.